G'day, how you going? Ian Apples here, your acrylic guru from Australia. Welcome to my video. Today we're going to do something a bit different. I'm not going to use any retarder. I'm going to just use some long brushes and get a nice brush strokey landscape painting. The size is on the canvas there in inches and I'll also get some colours going up the screen. That's designed for you to play, pause and paint along with me, the guru, okay? This painting is going to have a good vibe about it, that sort of vibe that's going to make you go, you know what, I like that. It's going to put that vibe that you're an artist in your house. So let's get right over here and get right into it. All right, you can see I've done a bit of a layout. I've got a mountain road curving around a corner hill here. It'll make sense when I start blocking it in. I've got some distant trees and a distant mountain and a sky. It's going to be very easy to do this painting if you follow these steps. And if you feel you can't do it, it's just a matter of practicing. So down here on the palette, I've got some paints laid out. You would have seen the colours going up the screen. And I've just got some brushes. I've got some round and flats. Now these are like those sort of brushes. Um, they're long handled and they're hog bristly. They're that type. And I am not going to use the normal retarder that you see me use in this painting. Now I've got some red, blue and yellow, the primary colours I've got, but I've got yellow ochre, I've got cobalt blue and permanent alinsarin. Now what I'm going to do is I want to mix up just a colour to map in the painting. So I'm going to mix up the blue and the red. Okay, so I've got a mountain coming down here, boom, and the road coming around here. And the road's going to come all the way along here. And it's going to have a bit of a, an edge, okay, simple edge. And then we're going to have some, where are we, trees all the way up here. But they're going to be green, there's going to be some trees here. So I just want to get this in so you can see what I'm, what the guru's doing. And a couple of trees there. Now the mountain, oh for the sky, the sky is going to be up here, bit of a mountain, make it whatever way you want, okay, that's the layout. So I'm going to start with the sky first. Alright, I've got a big hog bristle filbert, I've got some craft white and I'm just going to use the cobalt blue in there and I want a very pale sky, nothing too loud and blue, so I'm going to mix that to the value that I want. Now I'm just going to paint the sky in this loose painting type of thing. Get all the sky in. Don't worry if you've got brush strokes. It's arty. It's very. It's part of the procedure. You can see it in there. How's that looking? So I can go to that line there. I know where my mountain's going to be. Somewhere around there like that. And just block the rest of the sky in. Now do whatever sky you want. If I'm using cobalt blue because it's what I've got. But if you've got cerulean blue or French ultramarine, use that. Now look at this sky. The sky is all one colour. You want to try with landscape paintings if you can get into the habit, learn and practice. Is I'm going to make the bottom of that lighter. So to simply get it light, I'm going to grab some of this white over here. And just put a bit of blue with it. Not too much. And you can... Crisscross this in like that. It's wet still. You can see we've got time. It's still wet. Get that in there like that. I want it about that high. And then get this brush and then just pull it across, all the way across, and blend it into the sky. And you're getting quite... I'll get a bit more up there. I'll just push it on like that. Play with it. Practice it. See how your paints are going to work for you. And we've got the lower half of the sky a lot lighter than the top half. Now I'm grabbing this other brush again, this colour, and I'm mixing that with the white. I'm getting it a lot lighter, okay? And I just want to put in the top of the mountain now. I've lost part of it, so I'm going to come back here. Come up and find the shape that I want. I want good deliberate ups and downs because this is a distant mountain up there and it's pretty much coming along here so I've got no sky there so I better bring that up a bit more I didn't paint any then so make sure you cover your sky area up there we go and just like that alright now I could probably map the whole sky in 
not the sky, you dag. The mountain with this colour. But what I'm going to do, because the top half is a different colour, which is about here. Around there. This is the snow colour, okay? Up there. So what I'm going to do is just simply map this height of the mountain with this colour. And then I'll block in the bottom half. So there we go. We've got that one colour there. Now simply going for the darker, so I'm grabbing this first colour we used again and this will jingle and jangle up and then we'll, where this meets this top colour, we will detail the ridges and valleys within the mountain because that's what's going to make up the valleys and ridges in the mountain. But we need these darker colours so as you'll see what's going to Give it its look in the end. Now there's my tree top there, I know, so I don't want I don't need to come way beyond that. If I want, I could put some little windows in there that's going to shine through into the mountain. Okay, this is my trees in front. I've got a few little windows popping through there, which is going to let some background through. Now I want the bottom of this a little bit lighter so I just want to grab some of this lighter value paint here so I'm just going to grab some white and put with this and simply lighten the bottom half of that mountain from about here down so get it a bit more lighter. You can dry it if you want before you do this. Cover those windows up and it doesn't matter you're, you're building it up in layers so that's fine. Down there and if you feel it's washing and mudding up too much, mixing too much for you, you can dry it like so. So just picking up the pure white is enough to mix it down. It's going to come along here. And it's a lot more pale down the lower half of the sky. And then I'll merge that. Pick up some, some other brush if you want, anything you want. And we just want to blend that into the mountain there, like that. Go across your trees, not too much. And that's transitioned it from that colour to this colour. Okay, now going back to this colour here, you want to kind of come into your, your top layers there a bit, like so. It's just bits tighten up. Roll your brush as you go, just try and find. There we go, I'm rolling it to get them on there. You might have to constantly keep mixing the darker values, the red and the blue, to keep your pile going if it's running out. And then we're going to add the lighter values. So we're pretty much trying to get this mountain scooting up there like so. Some scooting around here. Make sure that's all the one value there. Don't let it change or any otherwise it'll look like a zebra crossing. I'm going to just mix up some of that red and the blue again, but I want to get a darker a value of it. Just so as we can get a, you know, here, look at that, some darker pockets within there. Just at the top of it if anything. Dry it if you want. I feel I could have dried this because it's if I press too heavy it's going to scratch out. I have dried that. Now this all this top colour here is pretty much snow. That's the darker colour. I want to put some lighter colours in it now. Grabbing that colour I'm going to add some more white to this colour here and get it a lot more brighter whiter and lighter. Now leave your dark bits there. This is the main top. So I want to get the top in. Come along the top like here, just like that, see? And see that dark bit I've got there? Leave it in there. Paint around it, leave it in there. This is going to have even more brighter bits on it to bring the white out. But this is just the brush strokes. Look at this. Boom, boom. Boom. It's art. 
Love it. Love it. Love it. You can use a smaller brush if you feel this one's too big. Some of this is going to scoot down into that darker colour there. Leave some of the mid-tone value there as well. I feel this is like painting loose. And as we go, we are going to, I've got a smaller round brush. I'll pick that one up just so I can show you. I'll load that up with some paint. I do want to get some um, bits of this bleeding down the mountain. Like that. Coming from there. Okay. And it's just going to make up for all the ridges, the valleys. We've got some kind of coming this way. Now, I want to thank Paul Gilmore for the reference photo I got from Unsplash. I've changed it up a wee bit though. I'm not putting half of the detail in there. I want this to have its own vibe. So we're coming across here now. We're getting all this colour then. Leaving some of that colour here in there. This will have more. I'm going to add white on this as the last run. But this is all mainly white paint. What I'm trying to achieve with this, and what I want you to try to achieve with this, is getting your brush strokes. When you're right up close, it looks like a brushed stroke painting, but from a distance, you can see the art that you've created, okay? Clean that brush. Now I'm using titanium white from the tube, not that craft paint. This has got more pigment. Now let's just see how we're going to go here. I might have to dry it because, yeah, and we just want a little bit scratched on here. But I'm going to dry that first. So I've given it a dry and I want to come and put a nice well, white bit right here like this. See, you've got to get these in the shape that make the, um, the ridges and the valleys in your mountains. Going right to the edge where you want it on the edge, okay? And this is going to make up just for the, the snow dribbling down in certain spots. If you're going to, when you get to the edge bits, Go to the edge, don't leave a, um, uh, a dark border in the edge of it there, okay? I just love doing these strokes. A nice little paint stroke there and a paint stroke there. And if you feel you put too many light bits in it, just grab the appropriate darker colour to darken it up. You don't want to go too mad though. Now I did grab some of the sky colour, which is here, and putting with this purpley colour, just teasing it together a bit, just to get some of these values. Sort of in this bit here, I want... As well, what you're going to see us do now. Just simply grabbing the craft white and that blue, while it's still a little bit wet, you don't want it white, you want to kind of scrumble, like you're making mist, I'll get some of that off the brush there. There we go. Because before I started doing this, you would have noticed that blue was a bit too much of a band, and it looked a bit hippity happy to me. Now I've got my green oxide, I've got my sap green and um, 
viridian green. I've got some yellow over here and some burn umber. I've also got some yellow oxide over here as well, which I might use. Now, I want to start off just layering the greens where the trees are going to go. So I want to use the lighter colour first, so I'll use the green oxide here. And just these distant ones, where's that mountain? That mountain's coming here. So we've got a little bit of a tree poking through the side here. So give it some air in between the branches. Just come in there like so. Boom. And now this group of trees, which is here, I'm going to block them in. So I want to block them in so as they look like trees. So we've got boom, like that. See, I, kind of, I left that little bit of sky colour there because you can see through it. You don't want it a solid, you don't want your trees ever as solid blobs. Where the white is, I'll make that solid. But then we're able to get some come down to the road so come all the way down to the road and block this in okay that's blocked in to about here to the roadside now we can dry this now I'm going to grab my viridian green the darker green on a bigger brush because it's a bigger tree and simply block this in just block it in get the leaf shapes out on top of that mountain the way you want we've got a sky window there which is great get some of that lacing right in front of there now right to that tree bit of window there there we go and that's butting up to those trees there. And this colour, it's coming all the way up here. We've got some more sky windows here happening. So take advantage of them and make them happen. The only little. But once the painting's finished, they play their part. And just make the edge a bit tree-like. Now you might have to dry it and give it some second layers but see all these little white dots try and have pride in your work and get rid of those and pretty much that's pretty much coming all here but we're going to change values again so different to what i'm normally used to doing but i want to show you different ways of painting throughout the journey now i'm just going to wipe the brush and pick up the sap green and we'll simply Block in these trees here. Get the different values coming in front there. And it's allowing these ones to dry as well. They can be dried. It's coming all the way down to there. And we'll simply block all this in, leaving some of those sky windows there. Now this one's pretty much like a evergreen, one of those sort of American trees that you look up in the evening. So we've got our sky windows in there. We're going to have some brown sitting back in here as well. Okay, now what I want to do, I want to dry this so as I can get other colours on top of it. And I'm grabbing the burn umber over here. I want a little bit of black in that, just a little bit, to give it some darkness. Because these have had a dry, and we want to get... Some implications of uh, some tr trunkage going in here. So just boom, nice and long. Something down here can come right off the painting. A bit fatter at the bottom. Something here. That one coming right through that sky window there. Boom. Continuing through the green there. It doesn't have to go all the way down. Just here and there like I'm doing, you might have a bit of a trunk there. In here we've got trunkage. Something right at the end there, there. Don't go too crazy. 
a little bit of brown tucking through there. Lighten some of this up gingerly. I'll just I'll show you what I mean. Just little bits, just so you can get like some other values within these trunks, just so as they look real within the painting. They got their own charisma. Now I'll start with this tree, then that group, and then that group of trees. So this colour here, I want to get a lighter value of it and a darker value. So to simply do that, I'm going to grab some of the titanium white and mix up a lighter value, a minted value. Okay, there we go. And we've got this colour here to put through it. I always like to start dark and come light, so I'll use some of this colour here roughly where I feel I want the bit. So I want some darker pockets here. Oh, boom, 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 boom. I'm looking at the reference, getting some idea. So it's pretty much a nice pocket all the way down here. Just movements like that, bang. Mainly the bottom bit of this is the darker green, boom. Bits here. Not too much, the, the bottom is darker if anything. Nice leafy brush strokes like that. See, I'm just boom, boom, left and right, crisscross this way, that way, a bit over in that one there. Some bits here, sink some of that trunk back. It's just loosely painting a tree, group of trees actually. Now I'm grabbing that lighter colour that I mixed and this is going to sort of come across the tops of this now where you feel we're going to need some light bands of light coming through this group of trees just like that. Probably get a little bit there, not too much. Yeah, about here on the edge if you're going to hit the edge. Coming down leafing through. Maybe a little bit here. Not too much. And just go back and forth till you're happy with the scattering of the light and darks that you got through the trees there. I'm liking that. I'm liking it. And a little sky window there. So I'm just adding a bit more white to that paint. And watch, we're just going to really come up here now and put some more in. Just not as much, be very little with this. This really accentuates where your, your light is. Okay, there. I'm just getting some rough guides from the reference. There we go. That's it, that's that group of trees done. This one is a lot darker. I'm gonna use that sap green that I had and I'm going to just pull some texture and tree values throughout see where the trunks are i want to kind of put stuff in front of that and sit them down just like so leaving a lot of the darks there trying to make up just tree canopies i am not even looking at the reference for this i'm just getting ideas where i want light and dark values boom boom within this tree mop the bottom half i do want to keep dark so i'm only going to sort of come about, I looked at the reference there and I can see that it's very dark at the bottom and now I'm just going to put my medium colour brush strokes on this half of this tree canopy here, this mob of trees, group of trees. Okay, there we go, let's come across there. And you can see it's starting to look like trees on the side of the road. Now that colour, we're just simply getting a lighter value again of that one in here. Maybe put a bit of yellow to it. Let's see what that does. Coming up here, looking at the reference, we've got some blobs coming around like this over here somewhere. We've got bits jingling through here. Just accentuating that dark a bit. Now I might 
have to bring some of this color flick it back in front of there to make it look a bit the way it's supposed to it's, it's got some really brighter stuff I'm not going everywhere you know I'm looking in these monitor they look a bit dotty so I want to kind of fix them up a bit get rid of that dotty look I'm just using the brush to push them around a bit now I've got this black here I'm going to grab some of the black and push into that green okay and we're going to put bits of dark within there just bits of dark where it's missing now a painting like this it's very loosely done it hasn't got sharp detail, but later on down the track, if you want, you could probably go over it and really sharply detail it and make it a different painting altogether again if you want to go that way. Grabbing the sap green and the cad yellow to get a lot of yellow green colour in there because too much white in your green is going to mute it. See these light bits here? They're very mutey. I want to kind of spark them with some green over the tops of it and it's just making for a bit more realistic green values within this type of painting now I want to bring this value back so I'm going to go back to that white green color which was this one here come from here there we go there and we're gonna kind of bring that in front of that outer line not too much don't get too carried away now putting a bit of the black in this viridian green over here this last pile I want to get the darker values in that last group of trees and I want to just kind of lace in some dark values every tree group needs their values so I'm going to lay a whole lot in there see there where the trunk is I'm coming right in front of that I get in front of this group of trees here and there's going to be a big light source coming down there's that trunk there I want to cut that off cut that off sinking it back into the group of trees there and if you feel oh you want a bit of dark there you probably can you just go backwards and forwards with your brush strokes till you're happy with what's happening. Now I want to get a bit of light. Just getting some of the green oxide. There's lots of leaf action here just to highlight some of this stuff. From the black into that other colour green. Not too much, just here and there to radiate through the centre of the tree knot there. Now I want a nice bit of light coming through here. So I'm just going to grab that paint with the white again, a bit more of it. There. And get it very white. Let's say over here. Like that. It's a lot more whiter. Okay. Now we're not going to have much on the brush. I'll brush mix it. And then I'll wipe most of that off the brush. Come over here. And I'm going to just wipe it off. Yeah, that's the value that I'm after. And I want to come from, let's say, here, this point, and let's say this point, just in the trees. And I want to get, so this is going to come about here. So I'm just, the, the tree leaves, it's going to be there. I'm not going all the way in the sky, I'm just covering up the tree leaves to make it that band of light shining through the canopy from the sky above. So I'm coming down. Pretty much there, all the way down to the road. Where'd that colour go? It's still a bit there. And it's going to come pretty much from here to there. Okay, so I want to just come lightly in a straight line and scrumble and blend like you do a mist. But this is pretty much the light value shining on those trees, through the trees, 
leave your dark bits there so you're going around and it's going to make up for a bit of light from the clouds peeking through and reflecting on this side of the tree canopy see I'm just going there throughout the tree like that just on the tree because the lights hitting the tree it's not hitting midair okay <laughs> don't get confused hitting midair Go. Not much on the brush, was there? There was not much at all. I think this here needs to come over a little bit more, so I'm just going to scramble some more on the brush there. And I want this coming over a bit, looking at the reference. So there's a bit more there shining through. Like that. Back to this colour here. I'm mixing up the red and the cerulean blue. Oh, the cobalt blue, sorry. Getting that purple value that I'm looking for and we're going to just block this in bit right over those trees here we go block it in that part of the road as well it's all dark this is our dark values block it in like that now I want to mix up the road color and there'll be a little bit of brown in here as well so I've got me gray Let's hope that brush is clean. There's not too much green in it. I've got me grey and I want to mix that up a little bit dark. Get a different value. I'll have a, a lighter value and a darker value. So we're coming around here. Around here. Let's get it tight. I'm just using a feel bit here. Just around here. Boom. Very easy. Block it in. Nice and straight along there. Coming down and around about to there, because that other bit's going to be brown dirt. So get this all the way around here. I wonder if that green tinge will help or hinder my painting. Who knows? We'll see at the end, won't we? You just make sure you clean your brushes. Now you can put a bit of darker value whoops, into your road as well. See, I'm stroking it now. The shape of the road which is all the way around there all the way around there grabbing some black putting in there both sides of the brush because I'm brush mixing and I just want to simply get some wear in the road the direction of the road just like that so it's telling the viewer that that road is following the direction where it's putting the shape there it doesn't look like a, a big colored blob it's got shape to it hopefully because a lot of this is going to have cuts and shadows across it the shadows make for a great painting I'm grabbing the burn umber and it will have some white in I wanted the darker value first and I want to come from about here start from a start from a point and then come around like so keep this sort of in a juttery way but coming up to that height there so I'm going to dry this so all the other colors will stick well I'm grabbing some burn umber and a heap of white let's grab a value of this to make a light medium value so there we go I just want to get Now I'll just grab some white on the brush and really highlight that colour that I just put on there with a lot more white that's in the brush. Just done that there. And we'll just simply down in there. Highlight some of that stuff. Just give it some kind of now also I want to grab that. And put a road post in that color. One there, one there somewhere. I want to really go through this big little bit of 
we get to the new Now I'm going to simply that colour, that was just this colour here with a lighter version. I'm just grabbing some more white on that as well. And simply in there, giving some different values on that. Just like so. There you go. Now we'll finish this side here off. So I'm just simply going to grab my greens and go from dark to light. And painting in here, sorry I didn't have the camera moved up. And just scratching in there in a roundabout way, leaving some of the darks there. Now that's quite a bright green. Get some darker bits in there, there we go. Some darker spots right in there somewhere. And now I'm gonna grab, I'm not even cleaning the brush, I'm just grabbing some of the yellow ochre mixed with the dirty green as well. I want some of that coming around here, making for the dirt colour. There we go. In amongst there as well. Some of it can go up in here. There we go. Some of it can come along this side here. Just making dirt and rubbish and crap in there. I'm simply grabbing the highlighted colour, which was this one here. And just gingerly, maybe, get some highlight floating down there. Setting it forward from the other stuff. Just like that. The road's reasonably dry. I want to use me bullshit stick because I want the shadow lines sort of on this angle like this. Not straight. I want them on that sort of angle, so I'll put my bullshit stick on that sort of angle, and roughly from the, um, where are we? we'll start from here, so I just want to come straight across there like that, boom, to the edge of the road, and make up the shadow band there. I'll wet that paint a bit now, it's not inky enough and get some of this shadowing across from the edge of the road and there's going to be several bands now to do that better I'm going to use a flat brush because I've got more control over a flat brush so there's one shadow there there's another whoop, same angle there's another shadow coming off the painting about here, so right off the painting and coming all the way up, let me stick straight, right up there like so. Now you don't want these too purple, and we've got another band about here somewhere, there's a gap between there and another one coming across here. Just make them up. I'm just changing the colour of the shadow because it was too violet looking. It wasn't right. So I'm just using the cobalt blue and the mid-tone grey that I got there. I'll just go over these ones that I've done. And as you can see, I've made a mistake. So I'm fixing it up. And you can make sure you put the right colour in. And you want... And if you feel your your shadows too grey, I just poured a bit more blue into it. A bit darker here. This is really purple. I've got to fix that up big time. I'll do that off camera. We've got more here. And it's very shadowy up in here. Boom. this road there I'll be tuning it as I go I'm 
I don't mind if I make mistakes. I like to show you how you can fix them up or how I fix them anyway. Not how you can fix them up, just how I would fix them up. Because everyone would probably approach a mistake a lot different than somebody else. Uh, where did it go? Where's the bloody window? Just breaking it up. I really want to get rid of that. There we go. How's that looking? I've got to put the whites in the road. They're just slightly getting a bit more darker. Pulled through it. Where's that colour gone? Alright, I'm just putting the deepest shadow colour there as you know those posts where they have the odd reflection in them, reflected. Now I'm just grabbing the plain titanium white and I want to grab, I'm just grab whatever brush is working for you and we're going to get this right against the edge of the road but there's a little bit of a gap. solid that up a bit later but I want to quickly put the um, road lines on there as well so we've got one about here and I'm gonna scurry the um, what do you call it the shadow across this as well and that's a bit I'm gonna just taint that white just the littlest bit with some of the shadowy color there you can't see me doing it but I've just Done it a little bit just so it's not glaring white. There we go. We've got one there, and some of these are gonna come around the painting just like so. And they're obviously darker over here. Okay. And I want to just fix this boundary line on the road. So I'm twisting this brush, just trying to get at least a solid white colour there so it doesn't look too, too stupidly stupid. Now in the reference, there's none on the other side, but there's probably the brightest of white in there somewhere. Just looking. Bits of white here and there. Where else? Bits here. Bits gaping along here somewhere. Grabbing this shadow colour, and I just want to slightly come across that white a little bit. Just gingerly. That one's done. Fix this one here in a minute. Now I've just grabbed. The, the sap green and some black, mix it together, reasonably inky. And like this edge, I'm just getting some detail whispering out over the background there to set it back. Come from nothing and into your painting there, follow it through. Keep picking it up, let's say here, from nothing and then follow it through into your painting. Well, that was a lot of fun, something different, really beautiful looking painting. It's got that art vibe about it. And be sure to tell your friends if you like what I'm doing. But if you don't like what I'm doing, you tell everybody. Goodbye, good luck, and good on you.